In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called the great discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy called it Mass Effect! Oh god, I had to read through that fast. I still didn't get it right. Why are you looking stupider? The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating a transmission sequence. Do I just carry around my full arsenal on the bridge? We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Dude. I talked to that guy in the prologue, but I don't remember his name. Approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Ooh, the ship moves. Neat. Dude, get out of my way. Who's this? I'm not just kidding. I know who that is. Oh, it's me! Board is green. Approach run has begun. That's who it is. Biggest badass this side of the galaxy. Hitting the relay in three. I assume two, by hitting he means he needs to do not actually crash. Yeah, see. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. <gasps> so you hate Oh my god! Him. It's Karn! Remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size hey, of- Hey, Karth! Car. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. <laughs> ah. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Wee! Uh, oh, uh, I agree. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. Yeah. So there's more going said. on here what than I the said. captain's letting up. Joker. Status report. Confused. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Oh. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Buoy is a fun word. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. Buoy. I think Nihilus is headed your way. Buoy. He's already here, Lieutenant. Buoy. Tell Ooh. Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. I can't either. Joker seems like a stand-up guy. Booey. Booey. Come, Booey. Hold on, let me move some stuff here. It's going to bump my arm. Okay, so, hey, Joker. I know we just talked, but... The captain's waiting for you in the car. Oh, okay, the, the game's actually smart. Yeah, seriously, am I just... What all am I carrying? Is, is that a shotgun? I think. Nah, just kidding. I know I played the game already. I know these things. I don't remember what half this is, actually. Uh... Door. Wrong door. Hi. Do you like all my guns? Oh, what's up? Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Uh, yeah, what do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. 
So, I want you to investigate? Oh, no, that's me investigating. All right. Sorry, I just started reading that, and I've already read it. I mean, heard it. Ah! I'm losing my mind. Uh, stealth what systems. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting-edge technology. Fancy stuff. And Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Uh, Turian Spectre. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Uh, was that long ago? I'm gonna say that was long ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. It's kinda racist. We're an alliance vessel, er, human specious. military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Uh, okay, hold on a minute. It's a new codex entry, and I remember seeing that on the first playthrough, but I intentionally, like, avoided it, so I wouldn't spoil myself, so uh, I need to, I need to look that up. Oh, uh, never mind, I found the codex, but wait, there's, they said there's a button for that. All right, I found the button. It's O. Aliens, Council Races. Roughly 1,200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. There is lingering animosity between Turians and humans over the first contact war of 2157 which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. Well, that explains everything. Uh, what's this flashing button do? Humanity's first contact with an alien race occurred in 2157. At that time, the Alliance allowed survey fleets to activate any dormant mass relays discovered a practice considered dangerous and irresponsible by Council-aligned races. When a Turian patrol discovered a human fleet attempting to activate a relay, they attacked. One human vessel survived, retreating to the colony of Shanxi. The Turians followed, quickly defeating the local forces. Shanxi was occupied, the first and to date only human world to be conquered by an alien species. The Turians believed the handful of ships they defeated represented the bulk of human defenses, so they were unprepared when the second fleet, under Admiral Castany Drescher, launched a strong counter-offensive, evicting them from Shanxi. The Turians mobilized for full-scale war, drawing the attention of the rest of the galaxy. The Council quickly intervened, forcing a truce. Fortunately for humanity, 
the first contact war was ended with a diplomatic solution. All right. The Systems Alliance is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national efforts. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. Still, the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. All right, it's a good thing I'm going to be muting myself during this because I was sneezing my head off. Uh, all right, so we've also got a secondary tab. Humanity's oh, first... Shut up. The systems ah! alone... Oh. Uh, player tutorials. All right, I already... I already know kind of how to play the game, so shut up. Uh, personal history summary. Uh, so I, I realized while I was listening to that other one that a lot of people probably know all this, but this is actually my first time seeing this. So if this is all horribly boring to you and you don't like it, then um, just skip ahead. I, yeah, it's it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of me learning this stuff rather than me being like, oh, I know this, and now I'm reading it to you. It's like, I, I, don't, I don't know this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Oh, right, um, people talking. Dudes, hi, what's up? Too many spy meets Jenkins. Wait, is that who I think it is? Dr. Chakwas. Right. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely <gasps> hope you're kidding, Corp. Oh my god, it is! Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. It's generic old woman from Kodor! Oh, I'm seeing all my old friends! Hey, uh, yeah, relax, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. See, when I was thinking, relax, Jenkins, I was thinking it was going to be like, hey, relax, we're going to a nice, peaceful world. Uh, my hair's clipping through my ear. Um, that's not going to get annoying looking at. Um, I'd be like, yeah, relax, Jenkins, we're going to a nice, peaceful world. You should chill. But apparently I'm just like, gosh, ah, fuck off. That's not actually what I said. Um... What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. Yeah, I remember that. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. So, yeah, what's the big deal about Spectres? What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. That's dangerous. What do you know about oh, the Spectres? Shit. 
Only what I've heard. Ah. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Okay, so we need to be careful not to accidentally start over the conversation wheel. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. I, this seems like the idiot option because like, yeah, clearly there are none. All right, sorry about that, I'm back. So uh, was, was, as I was saying, um, this option seems really stupid because like, clearly there are no human specters. We're new here and uh, I think some of the people in charge don't like us much. Uh, yeah, Eden Prime, what about Eden Prime? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. Yeah. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. You'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment uh, you've had and everything will work out. <sighs> Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful, though. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. So, um, I need to, I need to tab out for a minute. Um, just to fix some stuff.